Continuing our series on pressure control valves, we've already taken a look at a double pilot operated line lock, but let's take a look at a single pilot operated line lock. So again, in the same way that the double was used to apply a lock to a hydraulic cylinder to prevent the cylinder from moving in either, either direction, oftentimes we only need to lock one side. Let's say we need to lock the base end of the cylinder. So then what we need to have happen is that this a valve like this would go in line from the direction of control valve back to the base end of the cylinder. And so what we need to have happen is that the directional control valve would be connected to right here. So work port A of the directional control valve would be plumbed to this fitting right here. And so as we send oil into the base end of the cylinder, it's able to just simply send the oil in, acts on this little poppet right here, lifts up the poppet and delivers the oil to the base end of the cylinder. In when that cylinder is extended and the load is trying to get that oil to come back out of the base end, it's forced back in here and that high pressure actually holds this seat closed, which actually traps that oil in the base end of the cylinder. But then when we do want to retract the cylinder, what we need to have happen is that the oil coming from port B that would be used to retract goes to two places. One, it goes to the rod end of the cylinder. Two, we'd have a small signal line that actually comes to this little fitting on the top end here. And so what happens is as that oil goes to the rod side of the cylinder, it's trying to retract the cylinder. The oils out of the base end is getting stopped by this check valve and pressure rises on the rod side. That pressure rise on the rod side is actually sent in and is allowed to operate or push against this spool. So then as it pushes against this spool, what we see is that the rod end pressure opens up the base end passage. And so if this was A going into here to extend on the base end of the cylinder, in the retract, oil's coming into the rod side of the cylinder as well as the signal port for the single pilot operated line lock and that allows the oil out of the base end of the cylinder through this passageway back to the A port of the directional control valve which allows it to drain back to tank. And so what this valve is good for is allows us to lock one side of a cylinder and allow the signal line from the other side of the cylinder on retract to open it up to allow us to have a controlled retraction but a lock when we don't want the cylinder to move as long as all the load or the weight would be sitting on only one side of the cylinder. If we want to lock both sides of a cylinder, the double pilot operated line lock would work better.